Hi, I'm Janae Meadows of JanaeMeadows.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the Auto Trace tool in Illustrator or as I like to call it, the Awesome Trace tool. <laughs> okay, here. So let's go ahead and it, first things first, you got to have something to Auto Trace. So go ahead and get your doodle, your sketch, you know, you've done a nice sketch and ink it. Bring it into Photoshop, clean it up a little bit, get some of that pencil out of there. And then the way we're going to bring it to Illustrator is I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag that right into the program and open up that file. And there you go. You can see right there you've got my inking. But if you've ever used a pen tool, you know how tedious that can be to go in by hand and then just have to draw the whole thing out. It, takes, it would take hours, but we're going to do it in just seconds here with the Auto Trace tool. So let's go ahead. So it's real easy. You just select your drawing right there. You can see it's selected. Now, if you want to be quick and you don't want to mess with anything, you can actually just go right up to Live Trace here. And personally, I almost always go to Simple Trace because it just creates a nice clean black line, no background, and you're good to go. So let's just click that for now to see what happens. So click it. Now, and there you go. There you see it became darker. Well, now you've got to what I call expand it. But and you just click expand. And whoa, the vector points all over the place. What that means is now you've got a vectorized drawing. And it just took a couple seconds. And you can actually now do try something out here. You can change the color. Check it out. Color changed red now. You can change that color of yet to yellow. Real easy. So let's go back here. Back in time. Back to before it was vectorized. And let's get a little more uh, fancy here. Let's see. So if you go up to Live Trace like I did before, drop that menu down. There's also some other choices here. You can you can mess around with them. They got comic art. They'll make it look like it's drawn by hand drawn sketch. Whatever your wish is here, but I like to also go all the way down to the bottom to tracing options. That's just going to give you a little more, you can a little more control. So click preview so you can see what's happening as you change it. So it's not a surprise. So I did that. Now you can see right behind it the lines became darker, and it's going to show you what it's going to look like. Mode black and white. That's good. Threshold. Right now it's 128. If you've ever used Photoshop, there's threshold in that too, and it just the higher the threshold, the darker it's going to be, the lighter the lighter, the less the lighter. Um, so let's just, I like it, it's pretty good where it's at, but I'm going to take up just a little bit, just to kind of get that little, okay, there you go, a little more details included now. Um, other area is the minimum area, and you see it's at 10 pixels right now. That means anything smaller than 10 pixels in your drawing is, is going to be gone bye-bye. I like to keep it, I'm gonna, I got a lot of detail, a lot of little detail, so I'm just going to take that all the way down. And there's, do, there, you see that how much more detail just came into that drawing. I'm also going to click ignore white so that by the time this is vectorized, it does not vectorize the white paper because then that's just, a, it's a mess. So let's just ignore the white. Let's do that. Okay, now we get to do the fun part, you click trace. Now it's traced it, and now you hit expand. And it's, you know, that's what you saw at the beginning. I, I said I like to just click, uh, I like to just go for it and just click simple trace. It's, you know, it's very similar after all the adjustment because the drawing was so clean to begin with. I mean, it, it's just faster. Just go to simple trace. It's got great settings already on it. Um, yeah, so you can see you got yourself. Now that's, the, uh, you got yourself here. Cool. Click, click, clack. You can, if you wanted to, let's check this out. Let's go in here, zoom in. So now that it's vectorized, let's say I, you know, I don't like that little shadow above his lip. Delete, you know, you just select whatever you don't like and hit delete. You can also make his mouth a little crooked. Just like that. Hmm. So let's cover now. Let's close that guy. Let's go ahead and cover 
Well, if you've got a photograph you want to vectorize, you can. You can vectorize a photo. You can vectorize any image you want. It's just up to you. So, I got a banana. I'm going to bring that banana into Illustrator. There he is. Okay, so click the banana or your photo, whatever, and go back up to your live trace. And you see you got some uh, you got some more color options. You got uh, a photo low fidelity if you want to. Let's just try that and show you what happens here real quick. So I click that. And it hit expand. And whoa. Cool. Banana so you can totally look at that. What if I wanted to make a rot spot? The banana's now rotting in that spot. So let's go back. That, I mean, you see it's kind of jaggedy and stuff, and if you like that, that's cool, but you know, sometimes you want it just to be a little more, you might want to make a piece of pop art. Let's pop art this banana. That's when we go down to tracing options. So let's go, I had black and white before for the ink, but this is color, so let's choose color. And let's also choose preview, so we can see what we're doing. Now, if you could zoom in here, let's go. Now you got some choices. You can choose to have just about only max color six, or if you want to have more color included, whatever. But we're gonna pop art, so we don't need so many colors. You can also blur it. That's one that's gonna give this a real graphic look. So let's blur it a little bit and see what happens here. Ooh, check it out. It's cool. Yeah, keep blurring. Okay, so yeah, let's just let's take let's get out of here. Let's look let's hit trace. Whoa. Hit expand. Look at that. Banana graphic. So you can see you can you can vectorize anything you want. I mean, and just the the amount of detail you get is used all in the settings. But have some fun with it. Alright, so you see that the auto trace is truly the awesome trace tool. And we've got a lot of other cool stuff, other tutorials here for you to watch. Make sure to click on the links. And if you want to see what I'm up to, go to JanaeMeadows.com.